When learning new software, one technique that I constantly employ is what I like to call the sandbox technique. Much like a playground sandbox, this is sort of a blank slate for imagination and creativity. The sandbox method when learning software is to create new blank layers or files on which to try new things and play with options without fear of harming the actual work. I use this daily in Adobe Animate, Photoshop, web design, and more. So let's see how this works. Let's pretend you're trying to learn Adobe Animate CC, and you've got this great book by Joseph Labriquet, and I'm not sure how to say his last name, but this book is going to teach you how to use Adobe Animate CC. Well, in chapter two of this book, it has a pretty simple project that you're gonna be working on. Now, in this simple project, he also covers some tools that is actually not a part of the project, but he wants to make sure that you understand those tools because this chapter is specifically related to basic drawing tools in Adobe Animate. So even though we don't use it in the project, he does talk about, talk about how to use the pen tool, the pencil tool, the brush tool, the paintbrush tool, and a lot more. So it's up to us if we want to really learn this program to make sure that we play with those tools even though he hasn't specifically directed us to use them in this particular project. When this happens or when I'm trying to isolate a specific technique or skill or I'm a little bit scared of what I'm doing and I'm not quite sure of what I'm doing, what I'll do is I'll start the sandbox technique. Now there are two ways to do this. I can actually do it in the file I'm currently working on and often what I like to do is kind of turn off all the other layers, create some fake layers, so I might call this the pencil tool layer, and these ones are ones that I can delete later or I can just turn them off and lock them so that I have them there, but they don't interfere with my actual project. And by locking all the other layers, I don't harm the original project I was working on. So now I can just come over here and grab the pencil tool and start playing with a couple of options and see what I can work out in regard to learning this particular tool. So I'll try one or two things and maybe make this a little bit thinner and change my style and just play with a bunch of different options and see what we get. Now this is a great way to do it in the actual project, especially if you're gonna end up throwing them away later. But sometimes when it's a more complex technique or it's something that is a little bit scarier or just because you might not wanna mess with the entire project that you might um, want to have for later or you have to turn in as an assignment, whatever it may be, I actually prefer to create a new blank document. So in Animate, I'll create a new flash file and I'm not really going to worry about any settings um, because I can really mess with this and really mess this up and it's not going to make any difference because I, it, I'm, I don't have the fear of messing it up. I don't have the fear of breaking it. I don't have the fear of this being something that I have to keep forever. So this is where I might create a pencil tool layer and then I might come up here and turn that one off and lock it and then maybe call this the brush layer and just come and grab the paintbrush and change a couple of options with this paintbrush just like I did earlier and try that out and see how it works. So that's the basic sandbox technique and I recommend that you employ it as much as you can especially when you start to worry about whether or not what you're doing is going to mess up your current project and you want to isolate those steps.